some time ago, I drew my OC Alice in Iris Paint. She looks good, right? You can see the process in the link above and in the description. To make Alice even cuter, I want to bring her to life using Ibis Paint's latest feature, Animation. I'm using the free version of Ibis Paint X, so there are some limitations. Oh no! Along the way, I'll be trying out some features and capabilities in animation creation. I'll also share some special tricks to overcome the limitations in Ibis Paint's animation. Okay, turns out copying a folder from one frame to another doesn't work. What is keyframing? You might be wondering, what's an anchor point? What exactly is an in-between? Okay, let's get started. First, select the canvas and then the frames per second. The next step, I add 8 more frames and now there are a total of 9 frames. To save time, I've already prepared the sketches. Then, I placed Alice's movement sketches into the 9 frames one by one. After all the sketches are in frames, let's try the animation. Okay, that's good. Okay, turns out copying a folder from one frame to another doesn't work. If you copy a folder from the first frame and paste it into the following frames, it doesn't remain a folder. It turns into a single layer. So, I had to come out with a workaround. I copied and pasted it individual frames and then I swapped the last frame to become the second to last frame. It's a bit of a workaround, but it gets the job done. I'm going to copy the entire Alice folder and paste it into all frames. Next, import Alice's image assets from the old Ibis Paint file. Okay, I've got all the body parts assembled in the last frame, and we're ready to bring Alice to life. What is keyframing? Keyframing is all about setting markers in time to define how things move and change. Here's the thing, pick one you want to animate, precision, size, and color, drop the keyframes at the start and end, then watch your creation flow between these points. In this animation journey, I've set up 8 keyframes to bring Alice to life. To be honest, the keyframes were already made when sketching. Now let's assemble Alice's body parts to match the parent keyframes, starting with keyframe number 1. Oh yeah, one more thing, there is a duration setting for frames on Ibis Paint. You can increase or decrease the duration for each frame.
You might be wondering, why am I not going for a fully hand-drawn animation? Well, the truth is, creating a fully hand-drawn animation can take hours, days, or even whole week. So, I'm taking a slightly different approach here. I start by drawing the body part, and while the process may be a bit time consuming, it's much faster when it comes to the actual animation. Alright, we're done with the keyframes. What exactly is an in-between? An animation in betweening plays a crucial role in determining whether the animation will appear fast or slow. It's all about adjusting the timing to achieve the desired effect. Imagine this, you've got fast motion and slow motion. Fast motion might only require a few frames, while slow motion can involve more frames. That's why we create keyframes first. They help us decide how many frames to use for our animation. Here's where we start now, but hold on, we're not finished yet. We've got some in-between frames to create because we've lost them along the way. So, we're gonna make those in-between frames. Alright, the in betweening is all done. Now, if we want to make it look even more natural, we shall make the hair move too. Now, here's where it gets tricky. In Abyss Paint Animation, there's no anchor point in the Transform tool. You might be wondering, what's an anchor point? Well, it's like this pivotal point that everything rotates and scales around when you use the Transform tool. For example, if you want to animate a character waving their hand, you have to move the anchor point to where the forearm connects to the elbow. So, I have to move everything manually until it looks natural. This is painful. So the next step is to animate the hair. We're going to use a mask form to make the hair sway from side to side.
There we go, the hair movement is all set, now onto the background. I've already prepared an image for the background, so all that's left is to place it in each frame. In Amish Paint, you can place the background in all frames at once, unlike Fibacrate. So whether we like it or not, we have to add the background one by one. Finally, we're going to create an animation of a star appearing in the last few frames when Alice wings. This will add a cute touch to the animation. Since Amy's paint have many brushes, I can use a star brush without having to draw each star manually. Let's give it a try. Hmm, a bit too standard. Hmm, that's a bit too detailed. Not quite the right fit. Let's stick with the usual one.
once it's all done, hit save animated video and voila, here's the final animation. If you find this video helpful and enjoyed the process, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Your questions and suggestions are always welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me today and until the next video, happy creating!